Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of HairTube. Um, you might remember this uh, beautiful young woman because the last time I cut her hair on HairTube, we were actually in a billabong in the bush um, and we were standing in melted snow. Well, I was, you were sitting on a rock and she had beautiful long black hair and she walked out of it with a beautiful bob. Mm. Ginny, welcome back. And today I've been asked to make you blonde. Yes. That's a um, big task. <laughs> But I'm prepared to give it a go. It's something that we're often asked uh, in salon is to be able to do the things that other people can't. Um, Ginny and I have had a frank conversation about what's um, realistic and what's not. I think that if we can get her somewhere to around level eight um, and keep it as sort of latte coffee caramel as we can and keep it away from orange and, and those sort of unwanted warm tones, I think it'll be a good result. Could it possibly get it lighter than that? Absolutely. Um, but we won't know until we line it because um, everyone's hair is different and what we're left with is um, still yet to be decided because I've never lightened your hair before. Mm -hmm. So the process for this is it's quite difficult, it's going to take quite a long time. Um, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be applying the lightener onto her mid length and ends first, creating an intentional false regrowth. Um, and then once I'm happy with how the ends have lightened, we're going to go back and put on the root. And the reason why we do that is because the roots lighten very easy because they've got warmth in the scalp. Um, but the ends don't have any warmth of the body, so they tend to lighten far slower than the roots. So if we were to go and put it on the roots and then take it onto the ends, we'll get the, the roots nice and clean and the ends will just be um, forever catching up and they just won't catch up. So um, that's the process. With the haircut, we're just going to cut it back up above the shoulders, keep it really clean and, and blunt and uh, give it that really stri striking sort of sharp look. Yeah. You ready? Mm -hmm. um, we didn't have to give a thumbs up at the in the bush, but we're going to have to now. We'll see you guys back soon. <laughs> As I mentioned in the intro, um, we need to get this onto the mid lengths and ends first so that they get a head start on the lightning process. So I'm just going to take a simple parting down the center, split it into two, and then we're going to apply the lightener in one centimeter sections one centimetre away from the scalp all the way until we run out of hair. Sorry about the construction noise in the background, it's uh, not very pleasant at all. However, we are done here, so you can already see it's starting to lighten up. Um, once we've got that um, to a level that I'm sort of happy-ish with, we're going to pull it all out, then we go and put it on the uncoloured hair, so the, the regrowth we've created, then we process it all together. As I said, I think I'm going to probably be realistic and get to like that level 8, and then try and keep it as sort of toffee-ish as we can, and then we're going to do a cool haircut. So. We have now, you can see we've put on the roots, um, so we're just going to allow that to come up um, and then we're going to rinse it all out.
one for their cut. And we're going to start with that. Just give a little, little mist of water, even though I've dried off. This just helps when I'm combing the hair to cut it dry so we don't get fly away. Let's start with the center section. This is to ensure that we don't miss our guideline and that when we're doing a dry cut, we're not cutting a section that's too thick because um, we don't want the scissor to push the hair away, then it's not going to be accurate. And people often ask why I do it this way, and I just say, I don't know, I just started doing it this way. And I just felt for me it was easier. That's why I did it. Back in the centre section again, working this back within the head shape, want to make sure we don't follow around because we want this to actually be longer in the front, so I want it to kick towards the front, so that's why we bring the sides into the back and we don't follow them around. sides in, making sure we don't stretch it over here too much, because if we do, we know what happens there. What do you think? I love it. Mm. Not bad. Yeah, I love the length, I love the colour. We had a conversation about uh, making sure that it's matched Ginny's skin tone, and mm. she was saying that she's more tan than normal, and I think we nailed it. I think we did, I think it's really good. Beautiful. Um, it was a big day. It was, um, it was a very, very big process. I mean, it just feels, oh, it feels remarkable. We put your hands through it. Like, it feels really silky. Mm. Considering, like, we've, we did um, a light mask with water inside and 30 ball on the mid lengths and ends. Processed it for 35 minutes. Mixed up a new batch identical onto the roots for an additional 35 minutes. So total process time 70 minutes, which is well over manufacturer's recommendation. Um, did we over process it? No, it just means that it's done. It won't do no more. Um, yeah, then the toner, we used uh, half 8P and half, um, sorry, three quarters 8P and a quarter 8M. Wanted to get that brondy, blondy um, level eight. And I just think it's good, it works. Mm. If you're happy, I'm happy. Mm, I'm happy. Yeah, I'm just, um, I'm glad we cut it. We, we sort of had a debate before this part of the video 
if we're actually going to cut it because it was sort of looking pretty cool but I'm glad we cut it the way it was but we did it like three months ago four months ago yeah. so it's good well um it's been like five hours so are you sick of me <laughs> not yet that's not possible no, yeah. not sick of me. seriously who could ever <laughs> trust me again. especially when I get a little bit uh, tired a bit short but uh, thanks for hanging with me it was a big day. I hope you guys uh, love it. I mean, I think Jim looks amazing. And um, we we're speaking also about how she's going to play around with the tone, and see how this fades. Um, because the bass is there now and we can venture around and, and adjust the tone as um, she likes, really. It's um, the beautiful thing about removing the colour and then putting colour back is you have the ability to play with that. Um, the hard part, as we spoke about, is making sure we get it to where we need to. Mm. We did. So thanks. Thanks for tuning in guys, if um, you think you might know someone who likes this, please share it with them. Don't forget to click the bell, hit subscribe if it's the first time you've seen one of my videos. Please leave a comment, let Ginny know that she looks amazing. Um, I know all the people who volunteer to be on here, she read the comments, so even those ones that say they don't, I know you do. <laughs> they do, because they comment. Um, and until next time from Canberra Australia, it's... <laughs>